All right, what's up? Tim Sykes here. Tired, long day, big day, second 20K profit day in a row for me, 20K plus. Um, while most people are going to sleep and getting ready for tomorrow, I'm making a video lesson um, because I want to prepare you. Um, I should mention this is the final 36 hours to take advantage of all of these Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. We extended it a little bit just because a lot of people are like, give me a few days. So that's fine. Um, there's three sales. I'll post the link to them uh, right underneath this video. Capitalize on it, okay? Take advantage of it. This is all tools, resources, study guides designed specifically to help you get better, to speed up your learning curve, to speed up your earning curve. Um, it's not just me making money. Props to Jack Kellogg, my newest millionaire student. He just had his record day today, 120,000 in profits, and he's showing the screenshots. Um, and I actually sent him some soup because what you don't know is that he's actually sick in bed while having the best day trading. Um, so this is, you know, part of the beauty of, of trading where, you know, you can be sick and you can, you can make this much. Um, another cool thing about this figure, this, um, was how much he made in all of 2019. In 2019, he made 122,000. Now he's making it all in one day. So yes, he's improved as a trader, but there's just so much more opportunity. That's what I need you to understand. Like people are like, come on, Tim, why are you pushing so hard on these sales? Because I want you to be better prepared. It sickens me that only a few of my top students are really capitalizing. It's crazy that Jack could have a fever and he's like talking about like, you know, his lymph nodes are swollen and he still sees the patterns because he studied so much. Okay, if you look at some of my other students, Mark Crook, he just nailed F cell late day. Um, he was tied with me today because we we're both up around 22,000. This is Jack, by the way. Um, but Mark and I were tied and then, you know, he nailed FCEL, finished up 50,000 on the day. He watched all of my video lessons three times. Uh, look at these guys, okay? It's not just Jack and um, Mark. Uh, Kyle made 63,000. Roland uh, made 22,000. Matt Monaco made 20,000. I love this because Matt Monaco, back to back 20K days, very similar to me, um, except he just graduated college earlier this year and his brain is fried. And if you ask him, which I encourage you to do, ask him what he thinks about his 20K, he's very grateful, but he could have done so much better. I could have done so much better. Okay. So when you look through my trades, like, yeah, roughly 23K on the day. Um, big win again on uh, TSMP. That was my biggest winner. Um, I, I said it in last night's video. I said it in the watch list. I said it in last night's webinar. I said it before the market even closed yesterday. I specifically took no uh, overnight positions because I did not want to miss this potential morning panic. And it gapped up a little bit, but we got a absolute perfect morning panic here from 24 down to 15. And if you saw what I just did, I closed the extended hours. Uh, this doesn't trade extended hours or you know maybe a few orders go through, but it's they're just mainly like late prints and they're designed to you know fool newbies. So stop asking me about pre-market and post-market trades on OTC stocks. It blows my mind how many people ask about this. Focus on the trend. Um, TSNP is one of the biggest winners up from two cents. I, I Apparently I bought it a dozen times uh, before today, I had already made roughly 30 grand on it. Now I'm up like nearly 50 grand on it. Um, you do not have to just hold and hope. Um, I nailed the morning panic, uh, got my uh, entry right in here near the lows, only got a partial size, and I sold it here, you know, around 18. Um, you know, so this, this 15,000, I want you to understand this could have been 30,000 had I held a little longer. And it could have been 60,000 had I gotten my full position size. So don't think that this is best case scenario because it's not. Um, also, my other trade uh, in the morning, uh, ENZC. This was another morning panic on uh, a big multi-day runner recently. And you can see this stock has come up from two to 11. Big panic, perfect play, my favorite pattern. Um, this one only did like a little bit of a bounce and it actually was a double bottom. The second bottom led to the biggest bounce. I was only there for this partial. So I wasn't even there for the biggest bounce. So don't get confused with this 
you know, roughly a little over a thousand dollar profit. This is nowhere near best case scenario. This could have, would have, should have been a ten thousand dollar profit had I been um, a little later. But I was also dealing with SNWR. This was a morning spiker, um, which you know didn't really do anything after the morning spike. I didn't chase the spike. I got it on a dip, but I was just busy with the other perfect plays. When you have a perfect pattern like this, a perfect panic from 24 down to 15, and then it bounce. This doesn't look like much on the chart, but 15 to 22. This is a 50% bounce. Okay, you have a 30% drop and then a 50% bounce. That's near perfect for my morning panic pattern, if you're familiar with it. And just, I, I just want to show you, I think it's funny. Um, let me see. I have too many windows open. Oh, I don't know where it is. My All my tweets, go follow me on Twitter, but all of my tweets this morning were on the morning panic pattern because it was perfect for TSNP. It was perfect for ENZC. I also tried VRYYF. Um, the panic wasn't as perfect and the bounce wasn't as perfect, but it was still there. Um, so I took that. Um, like I said, I also missed, I don't even know if I said it. I missed ears uh, from the ones to the sixes. I missed eyes. I have no eyes. I have no ears. This one went from the ones to the twos. Um, I am long a good play overnight. G W S O. Um, this one was finishing strong, and this one first green day. Uh, new battery play, big spiker. The news. A lot of people are asking me. This was the news. Breakthrough in batteries for electric vehicles, and they put it in all caps too. Uh, but they basically said that they're gonna do sodium batteries instead of lithium batteries so you know my guess is they'll screw it up somehow my guess is they're shady my guess is they're there's something not right there um and yet all of that will probably be you know figured out many weeks many months many years from now um there is like a 0 0.0001 chance they're telling the truth but i just i don't believe the hype i just ride the hype up um, actually leave a comment underneath this video, say, um, ride the hype. Just don't believe it because there's so many people who are literally like stuck in TSNP and this looks like it's going to have another morning panic and stuck in ENZC. And this looks like it'll have another morning panic too. And they actually believe in these companies and they believe the promoters. CBBT is another one. They believe that the promoters are telling the truth. They believe when the promoters say that I'm shorting. I don't know why, um, but that's why they think they're dropping. Like I somehow have gotten blamed by promoters who are like Sykes and his crew are just shorting. Do you idiots realize that I show every trade publicly, that I alert every trade publicly, that I give all my commentary publicly, that I donate all of my trading profits to charity? I am not shorting CBBT. I am not shorting uh, TSNP. I am not shorting ALPP. I have bought and dip bought all of them. And I'm waiting for more morning panics. Um, but right now I'm long the first green day on GWSO. Looks like it's probably going to go to the twos tomorrow. Finished really strong. I thought about taking profits into the close. I had profits of roughly two grand. But I said, you know what? First green day OTC, revolutionary battery hype. Um, you know, while I say that there's a lot of idiots in penny stocks right now, because there are. Um, you can utilize those idiots, right? Like if you realize that there's a lot of idiots, if you realize that the promoters are just hyping crap up and the idiots are believing the promoters, again, ride the wave, just never believe it. So I'm long GWSO. As I said, you're not hearing me say, oh, this is such a good company. Oh, their batteries are so good. No, I think they're probably full of BS. And if you, you know, ask me, is this a good long-term investment? I would say no. But for right now, they've said the magic things. Um, they had a good press release. They have a good uh, reaction to that press release. So who knows how high it can go. In this crazy market, you know, battery plays CBAT. I was loading up on this thing in the threes here. And it, you know, later went to the tens. Remember BLNK, the charging play? I mean, I was loading up somewhere in here in the single digits and it went to 34. Uh, Neo, I think I was buying it initially in the teens, somewhere in here, I think on this breakout and, you know, went all the way up to the fifties. Um, you know, in a, a POLA, I remember that one too. That was another charger play. And this one tripled, uh, S U N W I had, you know, and this one keeps it. So 
electric vehicles, charging, battery plays, they can keep going. ADOM, another one that I was buying in the 30s, and this kept going. So who knows how high GWSO goes, um, but I'm, I'm just riding the hype while it lasts. Um, and I'm also more looking forward to the morning panics. I really wanted to do this video just to get the information out there. You know, this is why I show everything transparently. You can see all my tax returns. You can see my charity. All the donations are public. Some people are like, oh, Sykes just says he's making the donations. No, I actually do make the donations and I'm proud to do it. And I donate too much compared to my income. It's not a tax shelter. I like cutting through BS. Um, but anyways, props to uh, several students. Harry Corker got to show his chart. Uh, challenge student and his profit chart is going uh, parabolic up to 20k in the past uh, few weeks. I love this with Quoke. Um, Could have made 24k today, but he made four grand. And you know, this happens sometimes. Like a lot of people think, like, oh, Sykes, you're so good. Like, look at your profits. I dream of making you know 22,000 in a day. This could have been a hundred thousand dollar day for me. Okay, maybe if I was in a better uh, mindset, maybe if I was more prepared, maybe if I was more aggressive. Who knows? Um, I'm happy, you know, making 20K a day and Quope still made 4K today. I think yesterday he made like nine or 10K, but it's good to make money and learn that you can do better. That's the gist of all of these videos right now. There is so much opportunity, okay? When you look at, you know, Jack Kellogg making this in a day and he has like a fever and inflamed lymph nodes and he's still having record days, like, it's crazy to me that more people aren't taking their education seriously. So I show people like Quoke. I show, I mean, these are all challenge students. Harry, Harry Corker, um, Matt Monaco, 20K days. Jenny just like put a down payment on her avocado farm, which is awesome. Uh, Jose did bank on ears, you know, sold a little too soon, but locked in the 1500 in profits. And then all these other students. Um, you know, Roy and uh, Jack S. Number N07, by the way, people are asking, uh, this is Jack S, not Jack Kellogg. This is another Jack in my challenge. Um, I think he just passed 200,000, I want to say, in profits, or maybe 300,000. I don't even know anymore. Uh, but he made 26K, and this was midday. He actually had increased it. Uh, Roy uh, was up to 35K by day's end. He made 50K last week. Um, he's just a 22 year old in the Netherlands and it's like, anybody can do this. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. And, and Kyle, I got to give him props. If Jack didn't make hundred K Kyle, you know, this is a breakout day for him making 60 grand in a day. Uh, altogether, he had only made like, I think like 450, maybe 500 overall. Um, so this, you know, he just boosted his net worth today by like 10% and he made like an annual salary in one day. So I hope that these people encourage you and inspire you. They're trading Fannie Mae, uh, another multi-day runner that had a big crack. I'm sure that they're shorting it and dip buying it. This is this is the kind of volatility that they like. And with Fannie Mae, you can take bigger positions. Um, but you're looking for these big panics and you're looking for, um, you know, the bounce. Znog was another one that had um, a nice one. I got to give props to Tim Lento. Uh, one of my chat room moderators, you know, he made 34,000 today and he's over 800,000 now in total profits. Pretty awesome. Um, and, you know, he was shorting Znog, nice little 30% drop and a 30% bounce. So whether you're shorting or going long, there's opportunities both ways. If you're prepared, if you know about this pattern, these are all multi-day runners and you're waiting for them to fall off the cliff. If you know my penny stocking framework guide, this is a classic number four. Then you have a number five and a number six pattern. This is all, you know, one, two, three, run up, big crash, bounce, and then you can short the bounce. But I, you know, you really kind of want to be there for the, the initial crash. That's what's been best uh, for shorts lately. But I'm not even shorting. I like dip buying. So I'm looking for more panics on TSNP. Ideally, I can crack this low here um, at 15 cents and we get some real panic down to 12 or ideally even 10. Who knows how low it can go um, in ENZC. I want another panic too. I'll be looking for uh, dip buys, but I'm in no rush. Um, you know, let them, let them panic. Let them not panic. ALPP is another one, uh, multi-day runner. And this one is up a ton. 
uh, and I was buying it in here, you know, on their first green day. And it was actually a little disappointing. Um, but then, you know, it went up seven times. So <laughs> again, I underestimate this stuff. If you know these patterns, you still can profit even by underestimating it. Too many of you watching this have no idea. You're just like, I want to make 100K. Well, I'll tell you how to do it. Final 36 hours of all of these resources. Study them. Utilize them. No days off. No hours off. Learn to ride the hype. Just never believe it. I'll see you guys in chat. I got to get some sleep.